Ada Wong, the seductive spy who stole Leon's heart. She's the second playable character in Mercenaries and has a far more formidable set of weaponry than Leon. With a powerful sniper rifle and TMP, most players shouldn't have any trouble playing as Ada on any of the four Mercenaries maps. However, for those who want to unlock the hand cannon quickly, or attempt scores of 100k or more, then this guide will offer the best tips and tricks for playing as our favourite woman in red. We'll start where RE4 begins, the village. If you haven't seen my spawn guide for this map, then you need to know that in order to spawn all the enemies and get the spawning working correctly on the 60fps versions of the game, you need to start next to the tower. Quickly run to the window on the left, jump through and grab the timer. If you've done it fast enough, these enemies on the right will have appeared. If not, you need to restart. From here, it's time to gather supplies. The brown feathered chickens drop TMP bullets and a grenade. Behind the chicken barn there's a fire grenade and in the tower there's a hand grenade. In the house with the timer there are rifle bullets. And under the stairs of the shotgun house you can find a flash grenade and upstairs there's another grenade. Outside you'll find the second chicken. This is the one that drops the hand grenade. In the house there are more rifle bullets along with some more in the cow barn. Remember to break down all doors and windows so the ganado can move faster through the map. Now to have a good start I recommend luring the ten ganado into the large barn. You can provoke them into running towards you by aiming at them, firing your gun and backing up. Once they start running, run into the barn and count them as they come in so you know you've got all ten. Once they're in position, blow up the barrel and take the chest. For those who haven't seen my scoring system guide, the bonus chests make each kill during them count for 1300 points. These are the key to high scores on mercenaries and the more kills you can get during them, the easier high scores and especially 60k becomes. It's important to avoid killing bosses during the chests if it can be helped. So use the flash grenade on the two chainsaw sisters and keep killing until the 30 second bonus time runs out. Now it's all about maintaining the combo. Ada's rifle will kill regular Ganado and Blagas instantly and deals major damage to the chainsaw sisters. Her TMP can also kill enemies swiftly, so keeping up the combo will be far easier than with Leon. Head into the cow barn and stand at the back. Now all you need to do is stand your ground and kill everything that is in front of you, as you are effectively bottlenecking the enemies so they can only come from one direction. No surprise chainsaws sneaking up behind you in here. Use the rifle and fire grenades to knock the chainsaw sisters down and spray them with the TMP. If the combo is flashing, use the rifle on a regular ganado. Remember, there are only 6 chainsaw sisters who appear in pairs at kill counts of 10, 25 and 40. If you've managed to keep the combo going, then once the chainsaw sisters are dead, you should have 60k. If not, then grab more time, use another bonus chest and start a new combo. The next stage is Castle. 348 enemies await you in this map, so if you can keep killing while maintaining a combo, then 60k should be easy. Though you do need to be careful because Ada takes more damage than the other characters and can die very quickly. Fortunately, with how quickly Ada can kill using the TMP and rifle, you can easily stay on the ground floor of the castle and get all the kills you need for 60k. The archers are no longer a problem thanks to the rifle, and Ada's fire grenades generally kill the zealots as well. Remember that Ada's handgun can shoot through objects and enemies, 
so use it on the shields or when enemies stand in a line. As for the Garadores, Ada can deal with them swiftly in multiple ways, so let's run through them. The first Garador spawns at 25 kills, so using that information here are a couple ways of dealing with him. The first is to be up here when he appears, as he'll run directly to your location. Jump down and get some quick kills to provoke the Garador into jumping down. This will allow you to rifle him in the back, which should kill him instantly. If you don't want to wait for him to jump down and would rather kill him as soon as he spawns, then use a fire grenade to stun him then shoot his plaga with the rifle for a quick kill. If you want to kill the two other Garadores, then keep some grenades handy to stun them and kill Zealots at the same time. Hand grenades and fire grenades will make them double over for quick rifle kills and flash grenades can be thrown to make them turn around too. However, if you want an even easier time on castle without those pesky archers or the Garador, then you can use this alternative strategy. Grab your supplies and timers, then head up to the second floor interior staircase. There's a bonus chest up here to start your combo with. The archers can't hit you, and the Garador won't come here at 25 kills either. So it can be just you and the Zealots, just going up and down the stairs repeatedly to keep them spawning. If you want to stay on the ground floor to keep an easy combo, then a combo of around 60 is all you need for 60k. Around 80 enemies spawn in this area if you keep moving to the far sides up and down the stairs. Map 3 is the base or island, however you want to call it. This is the stage with the least number of enemies, but don't panic about that because the bosses are JJ, the fat guy with the Gatling gun and there's three of them here. Each counts for 10,000 points, so killing all three will give you 30,000 points. That's halfway to your 60k goal already. However, the enemies here can do a lot of damage to Ada so you do need to be more careful. I recommend starting from this position because there are two bonus chests close together. If you can get 30 kills in the minute of time they provide, then that's another 30,000 points which will make for an easy 60k. For JJ, there are multiple ways Ada can deal with him. Using the rifle, it takes between 3 and 5 shots to kill him, and he's easily stunned with headshots. He can be damaged and briefly stunned with fire grenades. Or if you've run out of rifle ammo, you can use the various ladders to stop him attacking you. As he jumps up a ladder, fire the TMP to send him crashing back down. You'll know when he's jumping because you'll hear him grunt. Or. If he climbs a wooden ladder, you can shoot him off it with any of your guns. I recommend this method for the sound alone. <laughs> Remember that your handgun can shoot through shields and that JJ won't shoot you if you're not looking directly at him.
Here we are, the big one, Waterworld. The hardest mercenaries map in the game and the most daunting for new players due to our terrifying and permanently angry friend, Super Salvador. There are two of these monstrosities on this map and they're heavily resistant to gunfire. So how does Ada respond to them? With a yawn. As by this point I'm sure you can handle killing regular Ganado and keeping a combo going, I focus the last portion of this guide on all the different tactics you can use on Salvador. For the first Salvador, we spawn on this tower and make sure not to damage any of the Ganado. We also need to make sure we don't look at the TNT Ganado either, as we don't want him throwing his dynamite and ruining everything. Jump down on the left side and you'll see that Salvador is hiding under the tower. It's worth noting that on the PS2 and PC 2007 versions of the game, Salvador will not be sitting idle like this, but on every other version of the game, he is. Equip the rifle and shoot him in the head until he dies. Now you can run to the ladder to start your combo with the bonus chest. Alternatively, if you want him to be part of your first combo, run to the ladder and wait for him to jump. When you hear him grunt, just like with JJ, fire your TMP to send him falling back down. Or, if you want to show off, use the rifle. As for the second Salvador, who spawns at 30 kills, there are three main ways to deal with him. The first is to use a fire grenade and then your rifle to kill him easily. Alternatively, you can enable a glitch that prevents them from spawning entirely. If you have a grenade or TNT ganado, kill them and climb this ladder when 30 kills are counted. If you're climbing the ladder when the kill count goes to 30 and above, the second Salvador will never appear. Or you can use an advanced version of the ladder trick. If he falls into the water, he'll instantly die as swinging a flaming chainsaw might be one of his talents, but swimming clearly is not. This can be tricky to pull off due to the other ganado, but if we stand here at this angle, when we knock him back down, he'll fall into the water like so. From here, use what you've learned and just keep up the combo. Use the bonus chest and stay alive until time runs out. With Ada's speed and weaponry, you shouldn't have much trouble obtaining 60k, or more now that the Salvadores have been dealt with. If you found this video helpful, return the favour by liking and sharing it. If you would like to see more videos like this along with guides for the other characters, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when the next guide is uploaded. Until then, good luck, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.